What's going on guys, Josh here with Everything Android. So the logic that has guided people's decisions over smartphone carriers over the past few years is that T-Mobile is cheap and Verizon is good. Well, according to the biggest network test in the United States, that is no longer true. So my question to you is, has Verizon finally lost its only advantage over T-Mobile? We're about to find out. So OpenSignal has published its newest State of Mobile Networks USA report, and the results will make bad readings for Verizon. So in network speeds, T-Mobile and Verizon are now tied for first place, and within spitting distance of each other on every other metric. In every way it can be measured, T-Mobile's network is just as good as Verizon. The report uses crowdsourced data to test all the networks nationwide. OpenSignal gets users to download its app. 170,000 of them were using the app for this report and then continuously runs network speed tests to gather data on speed, latency, and regional availability. According to the data in the report, Verizon still has the edge in availability, with users able to get an LTE signal 88.17% of the time instead of T-Mobile's 86.6% of the time. Now that's a tiny difference and pretty much the only time when Verizon beats out T-Mobile. Both carriers have the same overall download speeds and nearly an identical ping. So what about AT&T and Sprint you're probably asking yourselves, right? They're in third and fourth place respectively, but Sprint continues to be the only network that's particularly bad. It's the only network with availability below 80% compared to T-Mobile and Verizon's. So what does this mean for you when you're trying to choose a mobile plan? Basically, there's no reason not to go with T-Mobile. The speed and coverage you get will be the best you can buy. But T-Mobile Single Plan offers quasi-unlimited everything for $70 per month with additional lines costing far less. Verizon, on the other hand, doesn't even offer an unlimited plan. Now yes, T-Mobile has had problems with salespeople cramming bills with unwanted charges and that unlimited plan isn't really unlimited. But the limitations on the unlimited plan won't be an issue for the vast majority of people. So when it comes down to is, T-Mobile offers service that's just as good as Verizon, but a lot much cheaper. That's why it's adding users while Verizon is just hammering more fees on and losing their customers. And why most people in the country would be better off to switch. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments sections below about this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a thumbs up. This is Josh with Everything Android. I will see you guys on the next one.